Hi folks, welcome to this video on how to clear cell contents using Google Apps Script. Following on from the last video that I did for dependent drop-down lists, we saw that when you choose something from here, everything works fine, but when you change the manufacturer, you get this error come up because this cannot find the model in this dependent drop-down list. So in order to fix that, we need some Google Apps Script to clear this cell contents. So let me show you how that's done. If you go up to extensions and then click on App Script, that'll open up a new window. Now, if you're new to App Script, don't worry too much. This is quite a straightforward script and you can just type it out and it will work with your sheet. So don't worry, it's, I'm not gonna go into the details of how Google App Script works in this particular video. So we're just going to name this sheet, Clear Cells. And what I'm gonna do is just to make life easier, I'm gonna just copy this function in for simplicity. So let me just talk you through quickly what's happening here. So this is a special function called on edit. So every time the sheet is edited, this function kicks in and updates automatically. You don't need to fire any triggers. This will do it automatically for us. So what we're doing is we're specifying to get the active sheet within our spreadsheet. By the way, this, this actual script is tied to this spreadsheet. So it's a bound script. So it's getting the active spreadsheet or sorry, the active sheet within that spreadsheet. And this E is finding the active cell. So wherever an edit is made, um, that's assigned to this E. And then what we do is we have a condition, an if condition to check if that cell is the one we want. And if it is, then the, the script will run. So we're saying if the cell um, is on row two, in this case, so we're getting the row, and if it's equal to row two, so you can see this is our row here, and this is the column and this is the actual one we're checking here. So we're checking to see if this one is edited and if it is, then we're going to clear this one. So we're checking row two and we're gonna check the column. So we get the column and we check to see if that's column six. So this is column six here. And we're also checking the name. So we're checking the name of the spreadsheet or the sheet down here. So if you've got multiple spreadsheets or multiple sheets within your spreadsheet, then it's gonna do the right one basically. And so if all those conditions are true, then this thing will run. So basically it's gonna get the, the cell G2, which in our case is this dependent drop down here, and it's gonna clear the contents. So let's run this for the first time in Google Apps Script because you'll need to allow it with permissions. So let me show you what that looks like. So we'll save the script because right now this is uh, unsaved. And now we can run this. And when we run this, the script will ask us for permissions. So. You, this is nothing to worry about. This is your script um, tied to your account. So you just choose your email address. And it's basically saying that this particular script wants access to be able to see, edit, create, and delete um, Google Sheets. That sounds quite worrying, but don't worry because you've made this script. Okay, so this is just for you. No one else can access this except for you. So, you know, it's no problem at all to allow it. And people get quite worried about it, but you don't need to worry, it's, it's entirely yours. So we'll allow that, and there we go, that's run there now. Okay, so now what we can do is we can jump back over to our sheet, and let's change this cell, and this one should clear out. So it takes a second or so, but you can see it cleared it out. So we can now choose something from here, and when we go and choose this manufacturer here, this one will clear out ready for the new dependent drop-down options. So I hope you found that useful guys. That's all you need in order to make this work. So just write that out as I've shown you in this video and you'll be on your way to clearing sales in your own sheets. If you like that video guys, make sure you give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, I'd really appreciate it. But for now, that's all. Thanks for watching folks.